Yo, what is up, gamers? Realistic Gaming here. Today we are on Airplane 3. God, who is that guy up there? <laughs> He's just creeping up there. Okay, welcome everyone. Oh, he talks. Oh, I didn't even see that guy there. What? Where'd he come from? <laughs> okay, you are probably wondering why I gathered you guys here. Well, I am quite wondering why you gather us here, man. Dude, what's up with this guy? <laughs> I'm the Roblox just states army general. Well, hello there, general. What may we do of service to you? You can call me General Poncho. <laughs> From this point on, everything I say should be taken as an order. Okay, geez, take it easy, man. Or else you will be expelled from the team. This guy takes his job way too serious. Okay, now please take a seat. Um, I think we're already sitting down, <laughs> if, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Alright, everybody sit down, now. Sit, you guys have five seconds or you're gonna get kicked out of the team. Or the mission, should I say. <laughs> okay, nobody got kicked out, looks good. Let's get to the point. Alright. Oh, what do we got here? Mr. Poncho. That's a funny name. Oh, who is this guy? Wait, isn't that the guy we just saw back there peeking his head? Huh? This is our target. Okay, so why is he our target? His name is Ronald. He doesn't look so evil if you ask me. <laughs> okay, we have investigated all and we know that he is a dangerous Robloxian. What did he do? Okay, uh, uh, Sonic is asking what exactly did he do? That is where we are heading. Right, well, spill the milk, man. Ronald has kidnapped the captain of an airplane. Oh no, okay, so he kidnapped the pilot? Oh no, everyone in that plane must be in danger. Oh, he took over the airplane. In midair? Oh well, he got on board and he took it. Okay, that is right. Luckily, the plane is still flying in autopilot mode, which means everyone is safe. Okay, so the plane's still flying. How are we gonna get in there? <laughs> Our mission is to stop Ronald. We need to find that plane and get everyone out safely. Right, so it seems like we're gonna have to save everybody on board. Cause this maniac hijacked the airplane. We will find Ronald's intentions and bring him to justice. Alright, but how will we get to the plane? That's a good question, Ariel. <laughs> right, let's see how we get on board to this other plane. Good question, follow me. Okay, let's see where we follow this guy to. Oh, okay, the wall just opened up. Let's go in here. My God, <laughs> dude, I can't get over this guy's outfit, <laughs> his avatar. <laughs> and where's his shirt, man? This guy's out here with no shirt, Uno reverse card, Uno reverse. Put it in reverse, Terry. Everyone ready? All right, let's get ready. Let's see what this guy has for us. Okay, so I have no clue what we're in. Looks like an elevator of some sort. Or maybe it's a trap. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, going down. All right, it's an elevator. I kind of wanted it to be a trap so it could get a little crazy. <laughs> but I guess not. Oh wait, he kind of looked like Freddy Fazbear. That's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, let's see. Wait, where exactly are we heading to though? Where is this evil guy taking us? Well, General Poncho. Okay, let's become the monster. <laughs> Dude, I can be the monster the entire time. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> okay, um... Oh, look at this. It's like the bat cave. Okay, welcome to the military cave. No, I refuse to call this the military cave. This is the bat cave, man. Oh, everybody's getting dressed up. Okay, oh, look at these over here. Dude, nobody came to this side. They all went over there. <laughs> okay, that is how we're going to save the airplane from Ronald. Oh, I didn't even see that thing. But first, let's get everyone set up. All right, so that is one cool looking airplane. Okay, no one's leaving this place without a military outfit. Please take one behind you. All right, man, everybody's dressed up. All right, so we're good. Dude, come on, bacon hair. It had to be the bacon hair, of course. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, there's like VIP ones. Oh, that's pretty neat. Uh, well, they look kind of the same. They're just altered. Whatever, let's go over here. Looking good. I believe we are ready. 
<laughs> I believe we are too. Okay, now let's check the system. Hey, what's up, new follower, Malik? All right, let's go over here. We're gonna check on the system of the plane. Oh, look, there's pilots on board already. Hello, pilots. You say to me, you little. All righty, <laughs> checking the plane. Not enough fuel. How are you trying to do this mission if the airplane has no fuel? We will need to fill the plane tank completely before we can take off. Yeah, because without any fuel, the plane's not gonna go anywhere. That is a fuel nozzle. There's four of them around the cave, right? So it seems like we're gonna have to juice up the plane ourselves because this guy is not prepared. I need you to help me connect them to the plane. Connect the nozzles to the plane depending on its color. Oh look, there's like a teddy bear. You guys saw that, right? There's a teddy bear. Can we get the teddy bear? I'm gonna go straight to the teddy bear. While everybody else does everything. <laughs> okay, let's go check out the teddy bear. Hey, he got it. All right, he has a good a good eye too. Wait, we just, oh, we touched the teddy bear and we get a teddy. Oh my God, what's up little teddy? And why is there a teddy bear in a military base? <laughs> that is so strange. All right, these guys are connecting the plane. Everything seems good according to plan. Wait, nobody's doing these over here. Oh gosh, I guess I have to get to it myself. Never mind, boys over there's got it. You got it, boy! <laughs> He's bald and he has shades. That is swag right there. Okay, I think we connected all of them on the other side. Okay, those are connected. We just needed these two and we're good to go. Excellent, all nozzles are connected. Okay, so now that the nozzles are connected, the plane should have some fuel so we can get on and continue with this mission. Because this guy, I don't get it. He was all like pressing us to like get prepared and everything. And we come down here to the plane and he's not even prepared. Like, come on. Okay, tank full. Ah, now we are ready. Dude, imagine how much gasoline a plane actually needs. It must need a lot. Like insanely a lot. Okay, now what? I almost forgot. That's pilot Clark. Hey, what's up, Clark? And why aren't they why are they just like stiff? They're not even moving. He will be our pilot through this mission. Alright, it seems like he's fairly happy to be our pilot. System is ready, General. Please start the engine, pilot. Alright, General Poncho. Starting the engine. All right, so it seems like everything's going good. We filled up the plane and everything. Yo, I don't know about those propellers though. They look a little shaky. <laughs> Engine's ready. Dude, that looks like it's about to fly off or something. Opening back door. Oh look, we can move, cool. Okay, so let's go in here. Okay, now get in there and find a seat before we close the door. Error, error, error. Dude, what? <laughs> I am not your dad, bro. Yeah. We'll take a seat before we leave you behind, man. All right, so let's get ready. We all have a seat and... Dude, there's no seat for him. <laughs> Dude, that is so sad. There's not enough seats for everyone. Okay, so is he gonna kick him? Or what? Because he is not... He does not have a chair. Close your door. Prepare for takeoff. Dude, what... What about this guy? All right, we'll see what happens to him right now. Good luck, soldiers. I don't think he has to sit down. I think he's good. Dude, that would suck if it kicked him because he didn't get a seat. <laughs> oh, look, there's bananas. What? <laughs> Where did the bananas come from? Okay, we are now flying in the kidnapped plane direction. Ooh, I like how the plane actually looks like how it's moving. Even so, we still have a few hours until we get there. What? A few hours? There is something about this Ronald guy. Okay, so we don't really know much about this Ronald guy to be exact ourselves. At first sight, he looks like a good person. Why would he do something like that? Maybe he's possessed or something, man, by the ghost or the demon. Mm, um, General? What are these bananas for? <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I said to myself. <laughs> Oh, uh, I thought you could be hungry. Well, he he's definitely a nice person after all, huh? Here, everyone have a banana. 
Okay, so we're all, I guess it's a banana party now instead of a rescue mission. You might need that energy for later. Okay, I'll just save my banana for later. I'm not feeling a little hungry right now. Wait, don't eat the banana. Okay, good thing I didn't eat it. It's poisoned? What? <laughs> then why would he put a out for us to eat? What? <laughs> his face, his glasses don't even fit his small head. Ha ha ha, I'm just kidding, dude. It's an old prank. Oh, all right, so this guy's a little hysterical, huh? That's not funny, General. Exactly. Okay, I'm sorry. I just had to do it. <laughs> Silly general, come on. You're a little too old for those jokes. Okay, anyways, we'll be flying for a few more hours. You might as well chill or take a nap. Well, I guess nap time it is, everybody. I will wake you up when it's time. Okay, so our only objective is to take a nap. And then we're gonna ride to the plane. And then we're gonna try to take the plane back from Ronald. Uh-oh. Okay, the music changed. Uh oh, it sounds like we're in a thunderstorm. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, so we're flying out here in a thunderstorm. Time to wake up, everyone! Wake up, soldiers! It seems like we're arriving to our destination. Okay, it's nighttime and it looks like we're inside a storm. Dude, imagine being in a storm in a plane. Right, that would be very terrifying. We need to be ready in case we have to. General, we were struck by lightning. Uh oh, okay, this is not good. Oh no, they hit one of the propellers. Our right motor is in critical danger. Dude, that thing is gonna burst into flames. Does that mean we will die? Most likely, yes, Tristan. <laughs> in the real life situation, yes. Okay, everyone, chill. Okay, so now he's the chill guy. I will fix the motor, but I need everyone to cover me out there. What? How is he gonna go out there? This guy has to be insane. Wait, out there? That's what I just said. This guy's a madman. You know how crazy you gotta be to go outside an airplane when it's moving? I mean, I don't even know if it's possible <laughs> to even stand on the airplane like this. Okay, this is so scary. Okay, the storm is getting worse. Oh my god, this is a very bad storm. I will fix the mortar as quickly as I can. Okay, so this is the busted engine. As we can see here. It's got a little bit of fire coming out of it. Oh, dude. Dude, he just fell. <laughs> Cover me and try not to get struck by lightning. Dude, the, the general poncho just fell off the plane. <laughs> what, are we, what are we supposed to do now? Oh no, the general's gone, guys. Okay, so be careful with the lightning. Oh, no. This is pretty cool, yo. All right, so what do we do now with the general? He just yeeted out of here. And he said to get my back in case anything happened. And we just let him fall out the plane. Yeah, good job, everyone. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, 30 seconds. Before this crazy lightning attack goes away. Okay, seems like none of the lightning strikes back here, so I'm just gonna stay back here. <laughs> oh, everybody's running over there. Okay, so can we see the pilot? Oh, he's right there! <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, he's floating! Um, he's floating! I think I misspelled that, yeah, he's floating, but he's floating down there! Dude, the general's floating! Oh my god, the motor is fixed now! Alright, so is he gonna, like, teleport back over here? Oh, he did. Okay, nice. Alrighty, whatever. Let's go back in here. I've never seen such a strong storm. Alright, let's just pretend like we didn't see him fall out. <laughs> and can we go back in the plane? Jesus Christ, I, I don't want to be out here in the storm. <gasps> what? Dude, why is there a giant skeleton? You will not stop this fate. What is he talking about? Oh my God. Oh. Fire. Dude, it's a wall of fire coming at us. Quickly inside the plane. Oh my god. Okay, so where did this giant skeleton monster come from? He just came out of nowhere. And he said something about you will not stop this fate. What did he mean by that? Hey, pilot. Is everything okay? Where is the skeleton? Uh, I'm sorry, general. I don't know what you are talking about. 
What? Did, did you not see the giant skeleton? We didn't see no skeleton, general. Okay, so we clearly saw a giant skeleton out there and he didn't. Never mind. Let's keep moving. We're almost there. Uh, what? Okay, that was a bit strange then. He said the pilots said that they didn't see the giant skeleton when we clearly saw the giant skelly boy in our faces. Okay, general, we are here. Finally. Perfect. Everyone pay close attention. We will sneak through the back door of the kidnapped plane. Okay, so when are we gonna are we gonna jump onto the plane? We need everyone to get out safely before we go after Ronald. Once we're in there, we just have one chance. Okay, so we gotta be very careful with this. Good luck, soldiers! Thank you, General Poncho. Alright, let's see. Uh-oh, I think they're opening the hangar door. Oh, we're, at, we're actually inside the plane already. Okay. This is it. We're on the plane. Oh, look, I see a Roblox hat. I see some... Ew, that's like expired cheese over there. I see a giant key or something. Okay, it looks like Ronald covered the door. Oh, great. This dude locked it. I wanted to do this my whole life. Oh, it's Ronald. Okay, so this guy's definitely insane, as we can see. Oh, no, we better hurry. Check the storage. See if you can find anything to open this door. Yeah, I don't think we can open the door with a giant block of cheese. <laughs> Okay, great, you found the hammer. That will work. Okay, so let's open this boarded up door and see what's behind us. My god, let's see what Ronald is up to in the plane. Let's see what his master plan is. It's over, Ronald! He's just right there. How did you get here? I mean, we just landed in here, bro. I have no idea. <laughs> oh my god, he tied everybody up. Dude, he's running! Why can't we run? Okay, I guess there's like an invisible wall here. Come on, he's getting away! Oh great, he went into the captain's room. There's no time to go after him. We need to save everyone on the plane first. Yeah, it looks like they have bombs strapped onto them. This might be a little dangerous. Oh, we have to take off the bombs? Alright. Dude, you're, you're not saving the people. You're just running past them. <laughs> you gotta help out the people. Thank you, thank you. Oof, no problem. People of Robloxia. General, I inform you that all the noobs are now safe in the aircraft. Great, but there is still one left. The captain. Oh, great, not the captain. But wait, isn't it like the captain supposed to go down with the airplane or like the boat? Or is that just with the boat? <laughs> I'm not sure. I think it works the same way with the uh, with the pilot on the on the plane too. Okay, why is he not moving? This is it. Go break it down. Do something. We just have one chance to try to talk with Ronald. Who wants to be the hero? Oh gosh, step in front of the captain door. Me! <laughs> Me, I'm the monster! Yes! I will do it! I will save everybody! Talk to Ronald. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, we trust you on the real G. <laughs> no, don't real. Oh, I'm gonna die, huh? Oh my god, I think I'm gonna die trying to talk to Ronald. Ronald, open the door so we can work this out. Is he really gonna open the door? Oh, he did. Uh-oh, okay, this is not good. I don't know what to tell this guy. <laughs> Ronald, let the captain go. Now. You don't understand anything. What is he talking about? You are ruining my plans. I deserve this. Listen to what I'm going to say. Right? What will you tell Ronald? It's over. You're going to jail. What is wrong, Ronald? Oh my god, what should I do? Should I threaten him? Or try to have a conversation and see if maybe he'll give in and give us the pilot? Let's try to conversate with this guy. What is wrong, Ronald? Tell us what made you do this. And I want to know why he did this exactly. Ever since I was a kid, everyone made fun of me. Okay, why did why did he decide to go hijack a plane? <laughs> when I had problems, there was no one there. Okay. All I ever wanted is a friend. 
Well, this is a terrible way to get friends, Ronald. What? Okay, you don't have friends because you're crazy? Yeah, I don't think he wants to hear that. We can be your friends, Ronald! Even though I don't want to be his friend. Because he is crazy. <laughs> okay, we can save you, friends. Would you really do that for me? Oh my god, I think we're kind of getting in his head, guys. Yes, we will be your friends. Right, guys? Because you're a good person inside. I don't know if this can save you. I don't know if this can save me. I've taken things too far. Oh no. It's never too late to do the right things. Hey, that's true, man. It's never too late, Ronald. Just turn around. Or turn your madness into goodness right now. Okay, I will. I will become a good person. What? Is he serious? Uh-oh. The dots are coming. I think he's going to betray us. I'm not feeling well. Uh, what is going on? Dude, did he just pass out? Dude, he just like passed out. <gasps> Ronald, are you okay? Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, the pilot burned in there in the cabin. <gasps> oh, my God. General, the captain's room is burning. Dude, the captain was in there. Oh, no, we didn't get to save the captain. There is no time. The plane is about to explode. Well, <laughs> oh, no, take this parachute. What parachute? I don't see any parachute. Yo, I, I want to get out of here. I do not want to die. I want to live. Okay, what parachute is he talking about? I'm sad. Yeah, I didn't know the pilot was going to die. It looked like everything was going so well. We won't leave you here. Save him. Is he in the fire? I will save Ronald and the captain. Oh, no, the general's going to go in the fire now. There is no time. Just go. Oh, my God. It was a pleasure working with you, soldiers. No. Oh, my God. The cat. He's going to stay back and try to rescue them. Oh, my God. I believe he got this because he got that cool scar under his eye. <laughs> the, back door, the back emergency door is open. We need to get there and jump. Oh, my God. All right. We'll see you later, captain or general. Oh, gosh. I'm taking damage. Oh, you have to move around the fire. I see. Okay. Pretty cool. So now we just jump. <laughs> okay, so we're parachuting out of here. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so the whole cabin burned down. <gasps> and the captain was still in there. And why did Ronald like pass out of nowhere? What happened to that dude? Okay, so where are we falling exactly? It's so dark! Oh, I see the plane! Alright, hopefully the captain makes it safe. I believe in that guy. He looked like he was a tough general. I believe he'll make it out. Oh, look, I see all the noobs dancing down there. <laughs> hey, we got everybody parachuting here. Alright. Oh, celebration! No, guys, do not celebrate because we don't know if the general made it out. What? Why this guy doesn't have a head? Dude, his head is on the ground. <laughs> what? Give Teddy. Here's Teddy. Dude, why is this guy's head detached? Oh my god, alright. Oh, look at all. Oh, these are soldiers. And these, oh, look, there's a little baby noob here. How's there a baby noob? I've never seen a baby noob before. It's so cute, man. Alright, so let's see what happened with the general. Uh, what is that? Where? I think the general's coming. Where's the general? It's a monster! Oh, great. Now a monster appears. Wait, what is he talking about? I do not see a monster. Soldiers, we can't let the world see this horrible creature. What monster is he talking about? Go back here. Go back to where you came from, monster. Wait, is he talking about me? Is he calling me the monster? And now leave. And leave no witnesses. Oh! Discover the monster ending award? Dude, who are they shooting at? I did not even see a monster. Oh my god. Okay, so we got the good ending or it said discovered the monster.
Oh, look, I'm moving in the background. Wait, so that was it? What? <laughs> okay, so I, I guess being the monster the whole time was just me being this giant thing. I thought I was gonna be able to like kill someone or somebody. <laughs> I guess not. All right, so we got the Discover the Monster Award. And I have no clue what happened to the general since we left him behind. Well, we didn't leave him behind. He stood back to save um, to save Ronald and the pilot, but he never came back. So I don't know if he made it or not. <laughs> well, I hope he does. All right, you guys. Well, this was Airplane 3. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on. And I uh, will see you guys in the next one. Yeet!